I think I think there are different ways of looking uh, at this. First of all, as as a parent, even before you have a child, are thinking about the ways in which you can uh, use your parenting approaches to promote and build good building blocks for your child's mental health right from the first spark of life. Um, so again, it's back to those uh, things like sensitive and warm attachments with a child, um, uh, to looking after your own mental health and making sure that your uh, partner uh, also looks after their mental health uh, uh, as well and seeks early help. So those are those are the important building blocks. It's helpful for parents to to be aware of when of, of their own child's mental health and how it sits across a spectrum from healthy to to sort of slipping into into crisis because that is what most of us experience on on, on a day-to-day -day basis but also during our lives and our mental health fluctuates across that spectrum it's good for children to cope with adversity and to learn how to do that effectively but if they're moving into a situation where they're struggling and you can see those first signs then early action at that stage uh, is really important and what do we mean by early action well uh, Talking to, if your if your child is at school, talking to uh, the school nurse, approaching the school nurse. Most schools, uh, uh, particularly secondary schools, have access to school counsellors, uh, and they're increasingly uh, available. Or pastoral care within a school, and I think find finding uh, finding out what your school has. It's often not well advertised, so find out what your school has in the way of support for your child's mental health and emotional well-being. Uh, that, that's really important. Uh, a GP is an important uh, port of call as well um, uh, and, and particularly uh, whether there is parenting support locally uh, that can provide you with those skills which are essential to, to build your child's mental health and emotional well-being. Um, that, that sort of uh, the, the, the role that parents can play can often um, be overlooked but we know it's critically important if you look at what the research tells us. I think when as as young people move into adolescent years, there are some more there are some promising sort of interesting uh, ways of getting support that didn't used to exist. Um, there's uh, more development of online support, and we have, we have to be careful with that because some of it uh, is it, variable in quality. But there are some good uh, um, online counselling forums now, and 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 uh, often combined with telephone helplines where. You, where young people can access support at, at, at a time when it's uh, helpful to them. Uh, so they can access it at 10 o'clock at night rather than it being a, in a clinic or uh, it, during office hours. Those workers can bridge them to uh, services in their local area, effective services. There are also a lot of telephone helplines which provide a really useful bridging role to help you find the help that you need. It's a very confusing um, uh, maze really to find your way around as a parent. So f finding somebody who can help you navigate that in the, in, in the form of whether it's Young Minds Parent Line or through uh, other helplines that can really help you help your child. Uh, and then also, uh, particularly at that stage when uh, young people are moving into uh, that you know, those young adult years when services aren't aren't well organised to meet their needs uh, through through local uh, commissioning, um, it, there are a, a lot of underused. Um, one-stop shops really for young people that deal with a whole range of issues but also provide counselling, uh, youth information and advice services which it's worth uh, looking at. Most areas will have some form of community counselling available in, in those one-stop shops and it's worth looking at, uh, looking at whether you have those in your local area. And I think the final thing to say as a parent is that your attitudes and your views of mental health will have a, a really um, influential role uh, with your children so if you feel embarrassed um, uh, about seeking help they're likely to feel embarrassed about seeking help as well and of course that wouldn't be the case if we had a physical illness so it's really important uh, if we're going to make sure that children and young people get early help um, and don't 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 get pulled into that 10 year delay that we know is it, 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 the average young person is likely to face. It's really important that parents model um, healthy uh, help seeking activity so that, that their children and young people can themselves move forward and get help when they need it.